What's going on everyone? So today we're back out here on a beautiful, sunny, bright afternoon in a public area doing some randonautica and I'm still scared. <laughs> Not really, but you know how it is, the viewers of randonautica, of our randonautica, you guys know how, it been, has, how it's been going with all these stalkers and all this crazy stuff. I've pretty much just been doing randonautica during the daytime now. And, uh, yeah, so it is nice out, um, and we're going to see what happens today. We're going to see what we get. Uh, last time I found the stalker's mask. It was really weird. Uh, this guy has been stalking us, um, for a while now and very aggressively, very aggressively. And I ended my last video, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out, but I ended my last video Finding the stalker's mask. And it was very weird. Very strange as to why he would leave his mask behind. But, uh, yeah, hopefully, maybe today we can find some answers to that. So, with that being said, let's get into today's episode. Alright guys, so uh, I already got a few points pulled up, or a few uh, intentions pulled up from uh, our last video. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to go down there, ch or, uh, check it out. Um, and also, if you have any intentions yourself that you'd like to see us do, leave them down in the comments. I usually try to do some um, in the comments uh, from our viewers and... Today is no exception because that's what we're going to do. Uh, all right, so today we're going to start off with Karen's intention of hidden wishes. Actually, we're going to do lost and found. So Karen, thank you very much for your comments. Uh, we're going to do lost and found on here. Uh Wait for Randonautica to calibrate itself. All right, lost and found. Lost and found. Thinking about my intention. Thinking about lost and found. All right, we got something. Uh, I set the radius tight today, guys. I'm back at a uh, state forest. And I'm parked by the main entrance, and uh, yeah, I set the radius tight so I can walk to most of these points, not have to drive everywhere. Um, plus, it's, you know, like I said, it's a beautiful day out today. So yeah, but we got something. It's exactly it's going to take me the way I want to go, which is into the forest. Um, I got a little bit of a walk, nothing, nothing extreme, few minute walk, and uh, it's right off the main path. So I'm pretty excited to see what it's going to be. I really have no idea. Lost and found. That's, I mean, that sounds that sounds pretty promising, right? Lost and found intention. What could lost and found be? I don't know. Hopefully, so. Oh man, look, guys, look at this tan line. I just noticed it on the camera. Wow, that is that is impressive. That is an impressive tan line. Oh, it looks like I'm wearing gloves. It's from me wearing my motorcycle gloves, but I've not really noticed it like in the mirror or anything. But when I just saw it on the camera, I was like, oh, dude, that's ridiculous. Hopefully I can get some sun today and even it out because that's just, that's just stupid. <laughs> All right, finished my energy drink. Got my camera. Uh, I'm going to grab my backpack because I don't know when I'll be back to my car. And we will head out right now. Man, it's, it is super nice out today, guys. It's like, I don't know, 75 degrees. Um, my allergies are acting up as usual, which is not a surprise. If you do, if you do randonautica with us enough, 
you always hear me complain about my allergies. Um, the place I'm at is absolutely gorgeous. I have not been here. I No, I have been here. I've been at a different side of this forest. I've never been here. And, yeah, let me know, guys. Would you like to see some more urban uh urban randonauticas like maybe where we're going through the city like have more city intentions or do you like the more rural ones like out in the forest you know it's kind of hiking through the forest um and and stuff like that what, what do you think what do you like the most let me know down in the comments or do you like a mix of both um for me i personally just like i don't know i like being out outside i like being outside like in the nature and stuff and i don't get enough of an opportunity to really do that so randonautica gives me an excuse to go do that because i get to go out i get to make videos for you guys and i get to explore um like nature and stuff like that so it's it's kind of a win-win for me I could have sworn I saw somebody behind me. I'll have to check the footage. I don't think I did. Then again, it is a public place, so um, wouldn't matter. Okay, so bring up the map because we're coming to a Y in the road, a fork in the road. Go right. Go right. Right down this way. And our intention should be right around the bend here. All right, I think, oh, there's a toad. Went into, the, went into the woods really quick. Super dark, hold on. Yeah, this big, big toad just ran in there. Where are you at? All right, so uh, I think our point is right here. Yeah, I think our point's right here. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, oh, we already found it. I bet this is it. Something, some some type of weird bag, lost and found. Um. I don't know what's in it. It's, I see something. Looks like something. Some sort of black bolts. Yeah, black bolts. Okay. I don't know what this has to do with lost and found, but let's take a look at them. Let me get some of these out. Oh wow, these are, these are huge. These are gigantic bolts. Man, these are, these are serious business. I remember I bought some of these a while back for uh, my old SUV. To the, almost these exact ones, might be these exact ones. Um, and... I bolted it was it was to get, it was for a trailer hitch, so you obviously you need something something pretty beefy. Uh, yeah, there's an assortment of them in here. Yeah, obviously you need um, something pretty beefy to hold a uh, trailer hitch onto a car. So I got these, and they look almost exactly the same. I know I don't know what I did with them because I remember uh, I went out. I had to search all over for the right size. And I bought them, and then the trailer hitch I bought actually came with them, even though Amazon said it wasn't. So, huh, that's strange. Lost and found, because I did lose them. I did lose the, this bag of bolts. It was, like, pretty much the same exact thing. I had them in the bag, and... Okay, okay. That's, uh, that's interesting. Alright, so actually let me put these away. We'll set another intention right 
the middle of this path and see what's next. All right, so we got the bag of bolts in the backpack, and the next one we are going to do, thank you, Karen, for that intention, for helping me find my missing bag of bolts. They always told me I had a screw loose. Ha, ha, ha. Or I was missing a screw. Ha, 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 ha. Real, real funny joke. I'm actually sure some people actually find that funny. Anyways, uh... Okay, all right, next intention comes from Adam. Adam, it may be too bright out to see yours, but we're going to do one from Adam. Uh, something we don't know. I like that. Something we don't know. All right, uh, bring Random Nautica up. I was in the air. I don't know if you guys can see it. Something we don't know. Something that we don't know. Oh, you can hear a woodpecker up there. Something we don't know. Come on, owl. Okay, and it knew I was getting mad. And uh, we got something. Uh, con oh, it's a continuation on this path, so that'll be easy enough. Just walk down here for another few minutes. Um, good. Okay, so hopefully it's not too windy out for you guys. I forgot my microphone, so I don't really have any insulation against the wind. Uh, But, yeah, we will see. Oh. So, what do we have to talk about on a, on a nice summer stroll with Dan? Do we have anything to talk about right now? There's got to be something. got to be some sort of news. Uh, oh, guys, thanks for uh, jumping over to the Dark Web channel. It's really blowing up right now. Like... It's blowing up pretty good because you don't know we used to do a lot of dark web investigations and they never like now they they didn't really fit with our current narrative of doing like randonautica and paranormal on this channel like it just didn't really seem like dark web investigations belonged here anymore um so we are moving them uh over to a different channel um Uh, Cursed Urban, Dark Web, if you haven't, link is in the description, go over there, check it out. But we do all sorts of Dark Web investigations, and at 1,000 subscribers, I think we're like 700 and something at the time of recording this video, at 1,000 subscribers, we are going to release a new Dark Web video. So uh, go over there, give us a hand with that, if you could, um, Cursed Urban, Dark Web, in the YouTube link, or in the YouTube search bar, or follow the link in the description. Whatever works best for you guys. Uh, yeah, I think that's the only new news. So our new channel is doing good. New old channel, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, I don't know. So I'm gonna shut up, and I'm gonna keep hiking. Until I find somewhere or find my point somewhere. All right, let's do it. All right, so just checked right down this path, which, of course, I lighten up a little bit for you guys. This path takes us. Right by water. You can see it. Focus on the water camera. I'm trying to focus on everything else except for the water. There we go. Ugh, this is like a like a nasty, stagnant part of the river. And I hope I don't walk into like a thousand thorn bushes like I did before. Okay. Ooh, so I need to check the intention again. I forgot. Sorry, I forgot the intention. Something we don't know, right? Yeah, something we don't know. Ah. Ah. 
ah, I'm poking myself on this tree and the stick's getting caught on my lens. But ah, I'd rather deal with these trees ah, than have to deal with ah, stupid thorn bushes. Okay, it's bad back here. There's like a bunch of mosquitoes. You can see them flying around. They're not harassing me yet. I'm sure that'll change in the next five seconds. Huh, nice little area. Um, nice little, nice little area. Bunch of bird feathers. From something big, too. I wonder if that's something we don't know. Brought us to these feathers. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh. Oh, something shiny down there. Right by the bird feathers, too. Oh, what is it? Yo, I know what this is. This is silver. Yeah, this is a little bar of silver. One quarter troy ounce. 0.99%, 999% fine silver. That's dirty. United States government commemorative gallery. And if you guys have watched the videos long enough, I have found one exactly like this to the T exactly like this that I have at home so if it keeps if it keeps, if it keeps bringing me silver I'm gonna be very happy I'm gonna be very very happy okay I'll take that that's it's not expecting to get silver today but yeah it's weird because I literally have the exact same thing exact same case exact same amount at home so no, oh, maybe that lost and found, no way I still have it at home, I was going to say, maybe that lost and found intention stretching a little bit further, but, no, I still have all this stuff at home. Okay, so, last one's going to be from Indie Girl, we're, dude, we're flying through the intentions today, actually, I mean, I haven't recorded a bunch of the walk, it has been quite a, quite a long walk, but, uh, I mean, we're getting stuff today, so, okay, Indie Girl, we're going to do, uh, uh, hidden discoveries from you. Um, I like that one. Let's get random article open. Generate hidden discoveries. Hidden discoveries. Hidden discoveries. All right, and we got something. And thankfully, thankfully, it's actually heading straight back the way that I came from. So we can go hit that. And we can go hit that point. I head to my car head back home actually I have to link up with Max after this but uh head back towards my house um so yeah let's uh let's head that way and see what we find hmm this has been this has been pretty good I mean I don't care about the bolts but that's like probably like I don't, I don't know what silver spot price is right now but I don't know, like between 250 and five dollars worth of silver I'll take that I mean, it's a flex to say I got silver while doing Randonautica, so, ah, that's cool. All right. All right, let's head, uh, let's head on back. Yo, you hear that? I started, you hear that? I started filming. It's like, I think it's called a cat bird, because it sounds like a cat. That's crazy. I've never, I don't think I've heard one of those. Hey. Hey, <laughs> that's crazy. It really does sound like a cat. I heard that. And I knew I was getting up close to this point. And I was like, I better start filming because that's, we might not have those in every area of the world. So maybe it'll be new for somebody. I mean, it was new for me. Um, anyways, point is right down here. Right in the end of it, right in the middle of it. So I don't have too much, whoa, dude. No way, it's that stalker. You see him? Literally right there. Or am I seeing things? Am I, am I seeing things? Is that just, a... it looks like that mask. It's gotta be that stalker. Yo, are you kidding me right now? No, that's us. I can't see because those leaves, they're far down that path. Hey, 
Yo, no, that's a stalker. No, they were right here. They're right here. Yo, where'd you go? Yo, that was definitely the stalker, 100%. I just barely saw that mask. Wait, how could they have that mask? That mask was at my house. Oh God, it's this knife. How could they have that mask? That mask was literally at my house. Wait a second. That mask was at my house. That means that silver and those bolts were also at my house. So they, all that stuff came from my place. That stalker broke into my house. I need to get out of here. That's, that's guaranteed what it is. That stalker broke into my house. They took all that stuff and planted it for intentions. Dude, and this sucks. This really sucks because I'm like, I'm like, I'm literally like, just, sorry guys, I'm like, I'm like freaking out right now. I know I'm not making any sense, but I'm probably 15 minutes from my car and 10 minutes from the nearest parking lot. So I'm out here, it's me and the stalker out here. Alone. So I'm just out here alone with that stalker. I have no idea where they went. And all I have is this knife. That's it. That's literally all I have is just this little knife. Got off my gun at, gun at home like an idiot. Who knows, maybe they stole that too. Dude, they were definitely in my house, for sure. There's no other way they could have gotten that mask back. Unless they just made another one, you know what I mean? Like, they, they could have made another one. That's not, that's not unrealistic at all. I mean, I don't see why a person like that couldn't, you know, just make another mask like that one they had. It wasn't anything very complex. But, that doesn't explain how they would have gotten that bag of bolts, that silver, which again, I haven't seen that bag of bolts in like a year or two. So, they had to have dig it, dug deep to find it. I don't, why they choose that? Why they choose a bag of bolts to steal? I'm trying to keep, dude, I wish I had eyes on the back of my head. So I'm trying to like, look behind me while I keep moving forward. All right, I'm gonna keep the camera running in case anything happens. I'm, I'm gonna just put it on my neck in case I have to run. Um, or use both my hands for to defend myself. Um, so I'm probably not gonna comment anymore. Until I get back to the car. But if something happens, at least, you know, I'll have the camera running to catch it. So, all right. Yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna shut up now. And just try my best to get back to the car as quickly as possible. But yeah, I'll let you know if anything happens. All right, guys, I made it safely back to my car. There was no further incidences. Um, I don't know what to make of this. I, I have no idea what to make of this. Because um, like I said, I, I, I calmed down. I collected my thoughts a little bit better. And uh, it's just, I think it's fairly obvious that this stalker broke into my house 
took a couple things I've owned, planted them as intentions, and took it to, took their mask back. So it's just I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's just back to square one. That's the thing is we never ever make any progress. It's just a repeating cycle getting our houses broken into, being intimidated, being harassed, chased, threatened. And it just it just doesn't stop. It literally just doesn't stop. Like I've changed I've changed the locks on my house twice now. One was back uh, during our deep web investigations. The second time was when I had another stalker break into my house. So it's it's like it w and they didn't break out any window. I would have noticed that. So it's it's like, do they steal my house key? I got I got my house key and my garage door opener. It's like I don't know. It's it's just it's just ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's just it's just stupid. It's just stupid. And I don't know who stole the stalker's mask in the first place. It's like. Why are we having a conversation about the stalker's mask right now? We should be having a conversation about, oh, I found all this cool stuff during Grand Nautica, or oh, I found nothing during Grand Nautica. But no, it's, it's we're talking about the, the stupid stalker's mask. And it's just, I don't know, guys, it's, it's ridiculous. There's literally nothing I can say right now that hasn't already been said. Because once again, we're just revisiting the same, um, we're revisiting the same thing. That's happened to me. That's happened to Max. That's you know. It's just it's just the same song and dance, and I'm I'm absolutely tired of it. And I don't know what to do. And that's the most frustrating part is I don't know what to do to make this stop. You know, to be to quit being harassed. And it's like we just want to stop Randonautica, but we can't even do that. We get threatened if we stop playing Randonautica. So it's just kind of like I don't know. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, and I, I don't know what to do anymore. It's, it's really irritating. And we have people mowing the grass out in the forest right now. So I don't think they're the stalkers. I don't think the stalkers are riding lawnmowers now, but you never be too careful, I guess. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Um, I need to go meet up with Max. Uh, I already, I already did call him and I was like, look, this is what happened. And he just was like, oh, another day. Right. And I was like, yep, pretty much. So, uh, we got to go meet up with him. We got a completely different project we're working on. Um, but you know what? Let's, let's leave on a, on a better note. We have a different project we're working on right now, guys, we're working on something big, really big. Um, it's sort of related to the channel and I don't know how much I can say about it yet. But it's something to be looking forward to. I'll release more details in the future. Um, maybe during a live stream about what's going on. But it's something to be excited for. Other than that, guys, uh, big shout out to our patrons and our YouTube channel members. Thank you for making this video possible today. Sounds super cliche, I know. But it's not a joke. You guys fund this whole thing. We appreciate you. Um, or else we would literally would not have the extra money to film. So if you guys, anybody else would like to support us, just a few bucks a month for YouTube channel memberships. We really appreciate every cent that everybody donates. Not, no problem. Um, but uh, yeah, that about does it. Merch is in the description, relentlessdark.square.site. If you'd like to check out some merch, I got some new stuff dropping probably this weekend too. Um, and yeah, that about does it. Uh, thank you guys for being with me today, um, and thank you guys for always supporting us, always looking out, always looking out for us, and uh, being with us on all our, on all our adventures. Check out the Dark Web channel because we got more content coming soon. Of that, help us get to that 1K subs on there. We'll drop that new video. Oh, all right, guys. So I got a long journey ahead of me to go meet up with Max. Um, because I am far, I am far out from our place, not like our, our area, I should say, um, yeah, thank you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments on this whole situation, let me know if you guys have thought of a means to an end on it, I would like to hear your input, because I'm sick of dealing with this, but alright guys, have a good night or day, wherever you're at, and we will see you on the next video, peace out.